Look, I, have, uh, I didn't have any problems with the way we played tonight. I felt we gave terrific effort. Um, we shared the basketball. Uh, we, we followed the game plan for the most part. You know, look, there were some breakdowns. There were some misassignments. But for the 40 minutes, we stayed together. We shared the game. And, um, you know, we just played against a good team that's, that's on a pretty good roll right now. Eddie, what's tough for knowing that you're this close, and you still have a ways to go to bridge that gap? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we know that. Uh, I, you know, um, I think our players are, um, they still, they have that confidence. Um, and I, I see improvement, the way we're going, the way we want to play. Look, it took a, it's going to take a, you know, it's going to take a system to, um, it's going to take a little while to understand the system. You look at what they've gone through from last year to this year. I'm talking about uh, SMU. They're, they're running Larry's system, and it's crisp. It's um, disciplined. It's side to side like we like to do. Um, but for the most part, I thought we moved the ball, we shared the game, and, you know, there's room for improvement. Eddie, can you comment on uh, the play of Nick Moore, their point guard, 21 points? He kind of really has oh, he's their catalyst, you know. He, he's a bulldog. He's, um, he, he dictates the tempo. Um, he finds his people in the paint. Um, he's very, very mature. Um, he's tough. He makes his free throws. He makes threes. Um, he's like the engine, you know, and um, point guard play is very critical, very important in this game. We all know that. Hey, the second time you got within a point in the second half, uh, I think Mac missed a shot. Is, did you get the shot you wanted at least, at least to kind of take the lead? And is that what you're looking well, for? Well, yeah, I'm not looking to win the game right there. Yeah. You know, we, we're, we're looking to manage the game and take good shots. Missing Wally was big. He was very good for us in the paint. Um, he got two fouls in the second half that I thought was unwarranted, but that's the way the game is. And we, we miss him in there with his physicality and his experience. But, um, but Kadeem, you know, we played him more at five. Uh, and we just got a little bit worn down, but we stayed with it. We gave great effort. Eddie, you kind of referenced it before with Coach Brown's system. Does it take a while for Absolutely. Absolutely. They've got transfers. You know, they they set out those guys. I don't know how many, but two major players for them, and at least set out last year and practiced with them and had to learn the system. And um, this is our infant steps. You know, and with the way we played tonight, I, our, our, our demeanor was good. Uh, our personality was good. Uh, our effort was great. Uh, we executed, and you know those guys. You look at their 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 personnel. They're long. Their twos and threes are like our are taller than our fours and fives. Their fours and fives they keep coming off the bench. They they're slender. They're athletic. They make shots. They make plays. It's a good team personnel wise, and and what they do for uh, as far as their system is concerned. Eddie, is day extra day late for the game? Does that matter at all? You ever no, you, you just feel ready to play. You want to play, you know. And I told our team, look, it's a great. This is college basketball. This is what you want. You want to come in. You want to play. You want to practice. Got to play and go play the best team, one of the best teams in the country. And we have three games like that. So this is where we have to test our medal, um, and probably don't won't come out with wins, but it tests our medal as far as what our personality is going to be, how we're going to move forward with this program, and, and it shows good sign tonight. But there's some positive signs tonight in that regard. Eddie, when you're playing a good Uh, that you move the ball, that you take good shots, um, that you have to execute with great screens, great cuts, good spacing, everything that we talk about, the little things that you really don't see from a fan's point of view, but your, your timing, your spacing, your angles, um, your screening, your cutting, uh, what do you see as a player? You know, do I see a driving lane? Do I see a draw and kick? Do I see an opportunity to pull up? You know, everything that a basketball player strives for, this is what you have to do against the best defensive team. I saw us miss, miss good shots, um, and I thought that their length bothered us. And you know, you could, if you have long people and, and people uh, like them that can test shots, then it's going to bother you a little bit. But for the most part, we got the ball inside, we got good screening action, we got good shots, and we missed them. Uh, we missed some free throws that probably could have uh, maintained some of our momentum. Um, but everything's got to click against the best defensive team in the conference. Eddie, is there anything more?
more you want to see from Ole Gunnar as far as still being a tough defender, but also still staying out of foul trouble? Um, I like what Wally, where Wally is now. He, he's, um, you know, again, I like the way that he behaves when he thinks he has a, a you know, a bad call against him. Um, he's there rooting for his teammates. He's one of our better teammates. Uh, as I said before, he's been our quiet MVP for the most part of the year, and and we miss him when he's in foul trouble. But he's fighting. He's battling. His, his experience is really important to us. Um, so. Um, I don't know what to do when he has, you know, when he gets a whistle against him. I just don't, what can you do? I can't get texts. You know, I, I do as much as I can pointing it out, but just the way the game is. Two more questions? Sounds good? Okay. Thank you, Coach.